Hi, welcome back. My name is Katrina McGellig. Can I ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified of any of my upcoming videos. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. So uh, apologies for not uh, posting any videos for a couple of days. I had a bit of an accident with my tripod, so I had to wait for another one to be delivered by Amazon. So uh, this is my empties video for January. Again, sorry for it being a bit late. So the first item I want to talk about is from Superdrug and it's a raspberry and vanilla bath or shower soak and no, I didn't like it whatsoever. I used it in the bath and it wasn't very strong the scent and no, I just wasn't a fan of it. I think this was like 2 50 or something. There's better things to spend your money on. Now I bought this a while ago and I've only just gotten around to using it. It's a vitamin E. Uh, Skin body lotion by uh, Super Drug, but it has moonstone moonstone extract in it, whatever that is. And this was some of the money went to Marie Curie uh, Care and Support through ter terminal illness. So it smelled absolutely gorgeous, and it was really it absorbed in well. Um, didn't leave me skin greasy or anything. You know where sometimes if it moisturizes it takes absolutely ages for it to soak in. Then my favourite, the righteous butter. Now I love this. You can't be a uh, sober and glory. This is amazing. I love this so much. It absorbs in really well. It doesn't leave you greasy. Brilliant. Now I use this. I had a set of these and this is from Elf, and this is a prep and hydrate balm. Now they could probably think uh, to do a bit better with the packaging because yeah, it, it screws up. But then you left with a lot in the end of it, and then when you're trying to put it on, it was like scrape, and so I just got my finger in and used the last of it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't buy it again now because I don't really see the point of it. Now this soaking. Hydrate and mist toner, alcohol and paraben free. And of course, this is uh, vegan, cruelty free. Uh, it says it's 100% vegan, 100% carbon neutral. No animal testing. There's no uh, harsh detergent, no uh, artificial colors, no mineral oils, no uh, synthetic fragrances, no animal derivatives. Now I have a couple of these left because uh, last year there was a great box out by Ladies and Beauty. I think it was Spring Heroes and I bought three of them because there was good brands in it like this one. Now I would I don't know how much this is. It's probably about 10 quid, I'm not sure. But I love this. It left my face feeling lovely and refreshed. Um and I would definitely buy it again. And I admire the brand so much because if they can be a uh, carbon neutral you know no animal testing and vegan why can't other companies do the same i remember that brand i would definitely buy it again even if it was a bit more expensive because it's a good brand now this is a nip and fab and it's a dragon's blood fix jelly mask now last year i think around the around august or september but keep it i will give you a hint keep an eye out now, do you know what? I will give you a few hints of uh, savings and sales and stuff at the end, right? Because I want to get through these products. So this was five your five pound on the five pound sale on uh, nip and fab or six euros. So well worth. And I have another one. This was apps. I think this is two two hundred and ten mils. And I'd put it on before getting into the bath and I'd get out and wash it off. And oh my days, my skin felt really soft and relaxed and beautiful. So then we have this. It is a simple detox, de-stress sheet mask. Loved it. Nothing better than putting your feet up for 20 minutes with a sheet mask. Then this is my last one. I'm absolutely heartbroken because I think I mentioned this before that they were uh, discontinued. And I put this down to my good skin. This is the Freedom Pro Studio Glycolic Radiance Toner with ginseng and aloe vera. And it was absolutely amazing. 
I would have kind of broke out before. Um, I'm quite lucky enough that I hadn't didn't get much, but I would break out occasionally, you know, time of the month or whatever. And uh, I had two little pimples here when I got my eyebrow pierced. They disappeared, and nothing would shift them. And I started to use this, and the pimples went. And I've never had a breakout since. So at the moment, I'm using a nip and fab glycolic toner. So fingers crossed, my skin stays alright because. Revolution have put out another toner instead. I haven't tried it yet, but absolutely heartbroken about that. Now this, I'm trying to get through my Avon stuff and I won't be buying it again. So this is Avon Skin So Soft. It's the original one, it's dry oil spray. And I found it very good because I have arthritis in my shoulders and my elbow. So I don't have much movement. So, uh, you know, I'd put lotions on and stuff. So I found this easy just to spray me back, you know. But um, I will be reusing that again for, for other oils, but I just won't be buying Avon again. Now, I did love it. And then this is the Neo Bay Origin, Origin Recovery Mask. Now, let's see, I cut it again. Absolutely love this, really, truly. But when I cut it open, there was loads in the end that you couldn't actually physically squeeze, squeeze out because it just wasn't. So I have a little spatula and what I done was I scooped it out and put it in a little tub and I got another two face masks out of it. I do remember getting that look fantastic. Loved it. And then we have the Polar Ice Source uh, Mask. I used to put this on last thing at night. I absolutely can't read that right and it's just too small and it's blue and white which makes it impossible to read. But I did love that. Another beauty box. Now, a bubble tea uh, salted caramel bath fizzers from, look, this was in the birthday edition for it, look fantastic. And I'm not being funny, but waste of time. Uh, didn't really smell. They didn't really fit. Well, they fizzed, but then he went, and that was it. <laughs> so um, I waste the money. I wouldn't buy them again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've had this a while and I'm trying to use up stuff that I've had for a while and even if I don't like it, I still try to use it because I hate waste. This is Green Frog Botanic. Now we got a lotion last month in Birchbox from the same brand and this is a relaxing geranium and peppermint Ayurvedic skincare and this is a body wash. It was okay but the it was a strange mix of geranium and peppermint. Uh, the geranium came out stronger and it's just not a nice scent. Now, this is a smart anti-fatigue eye cream by Madara. Now, I got that in latest beauty and it is quite expensive. I think Madara is about 25 quid. And you know what? I had to mix it with another eye cream because it did, didn't like the scent. There wasn't like a fresh scent. It wasn't a floral scent. It was like um, a sicky, like um, how will I put it, a baby sick kind of smell. That's the only way I can describe it. And excuse me for being real, but I put it on the first night. And I was like, didn't like it whatsoever. So I mixed it in another cream because it was expensive and I wasn't going to waste it. But that was 15 ml. Wouldn't buy it again. And then we have an Elemis. That was the plumping pillow sleep mask. I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, I quite like that. I put on my skincare on, do everything, and then put it on last thing at night, and I loved it. And then uh, Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion. Now, <laughs> what body, excuse me, would you get out of that? So I put it on on my feet one night, and uh, I'll put it. I have cotton socks upstairs, put that on, put the cotton socks on, and my feet felt amazing the next morning. Um, love this. Uh, Paula's Chai Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid, and it has salicylic acid in it, and it creates a radiant, even toned skin, unclogs and diminishes large pores, smooths wrinkles and fine lines and that's an exfoliant toner absolutely love that we've got that in beauty latest in beauty again i would buy that now this is just a little bayless and hardy harden uh body lotion and that was in lime basil and sage yeah it was quite nice 
I think you'd get much out of that. Now, I don't get too much makeup, but I would with eye primers and normally primers. So this is a Freedom, which is the old name for Revolution, a pro eye primer. Yeah, run of the mill, it was okay. I at the moment I'm using a number seven one, which I like better. Um I think these are in like two fifty or something. They're okay if you're starting out or anything, yeah. I can't fault it for the price. Now I absolutely love that. It's molten brown and this is uh I can't read it. Jasmine and Sun Rose, and this is 30 mils, and that lasted me absolutely ages. Beautiful, loved it. Only for that, so expensive, I'd love to buy a, a full size one. Now, I did use the Sharm pill just a while ago, and I finally got through the conditioner. This is the Charles Wardington Healthy Balance. Uh, sorry, I think my phone is ringing. Sorry about that, just put it on silent. So, yeah, I was saying I finally got through that because you know, it's like you always end up using more shampoo than conditioner, kind of felt like a chore to get through it. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember now, last track would have mentioned this. This is the Super Duper Hand Cream, I love this ladies and beauty again. And this is coconut water and cuckoo oil. Now, this was absolutely divine. Um, really moisturised my hands, uh, didn't leave them greasy or anything, loved them, loved it. And then this is something by Lemont Botanic, and it's LMB otherwise, Natural Digital Detox. And this is some kind of two minute hair mask with fuller's air to clay, absolutely horrible. Um, my hair is quite textured and dry now. I've been using a good few hair masks and it's kind of feeling a lot better. But this left my hair like straw. Uh, this is before I cut a shower. So I think I used used the whole of it in one go, lucky enough. And then I was I didn't do it in couple, two or three times, you know. So I was able to fix the damage a couple of days later by another decent hair mask. But no, absolutely horrible. And then we have a Harve uh, Dead Sea Water Mineral Body Lotion. Uh, yeah, nice enough. Um, look fantastic. I think that was in. And then a couple of CN eye gels. Uh, so I'm trying to get through stuff that I've had a while. And this is, it's a 1.5 ml Origins. Uh, active charcoal mask and I could barely get half a face out of it. It was such ridiculous. There was no point. Didn't need to see any improvement. And this I absolutely love. Dr. Organic uh, body polish and this is um, 200 mils and I think it was rose or something scented. Um, absolutely loved it. I oh, know, do you know what it was? It smelled of almond and nuts and stuff. Um, exfoliating, rejuvenating and soothing. And of course, this is another vegan and cruelty-free brand. Absolutely love that. Again, so I would buy that again. And then we have uh, Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. Yeah, love that. Um, but I would say now the Dr. Organics, I would have loved this before I tried anything else. Now, Dr. Organics is my favourite, but if I was stuck, I would use this. It works just the same. It's just, it doesn't have as nice a scent as the Dr. Organics one. And then we have another hand cream. Get you a load of hand creams. My problem is I started moisturising my hands quite a lot because I wash my hands quite a lot during the day with the OCD. And what happens is the more you moisturise, the more you feel you have to moisturise because then your hands start to feel dry and, you know, papery or crepey or something so then I now moisturize about eight times a day ten times it's ridiculous but um in fact I f my hands feel like I do need moisturizing now but anyway I got this is this is a small one I missed out on the large one I think in ladies and beauty this is the Joe Hansford uh, intensive mask uh, anti-fade formula for all hair types this is what I used after that other uh, fuller's clay mask Wash my hair, put that in, uh, put a shower cap on, left it in all night. Now, I'd done that before with the Living Proof one, which is a whopping 37 quid. 
And I don't know how much these are, but if it was cheaper, I would go with this because it worked just as well. Lovely brand. I love uh, beauty boxes because you get to discover all these brands you'd never find. So then this is a Nip and Fab Bee Sting Fix Cream Deluxe. Now, Nip and Fab are, are very expensive, but this was in the £5 sale or €6. Euros, and it smelled gorgeous. It was lovely and moisturising and rich. Oh, my, my skin drank that up. Now, I don't have dry skin, but it was like a, a real treat, you know. It was luxurious, that's what I'm trying to say. It felt like a more expensive face cream. Now, uh, this is an Imperial Foam Burst uh, Pambering Luxury Gel to Foam Body Wash. Body Wash Lychee, Lychee and Lotus Flower. Now, I did quite like this. It was a bit weird to get used to the texture of the gel at the start, but no, I did like it. The scent was lovely and I love the way it foamed up. I would buy that again. Now, this, I say, would have to be one of my favourite items I've got out of ladies and beauty collection boxes. This is a Dr. Organic, or Organic Dead Sea Mineral Bath Oil. And oh my days, this was just heaven. So it's free from parabens, no LS, SLS, artificial, no artificial colours, no fragrance, no harsh preservatives. Of course, this is vegan and cruelty free. And uh, even that much would get you a beautiful bath out. I got like four baths. And it was just divine. I was so relaxing. You know, sometimes I find it hard to sleep. And this really helped me uh, relax and, you know, go to sleep quite easily that night so i would be definitely be purchasing that that's going on my list now i got this in the crew no the pit box and um, what annoyed me when i got it was there was literally two months to use it it wasn't a long use by a date and other people got used by dates for next year or something i got my i had to use mine within two months and i mean it was quite expensive look and it came in its own little box inside a little tray inside a, a, a box that you lift the lid up off it and it's meant to be 20 quid for this and it's got a barley balm and it's cinnamon and burnt orange and it was the most disgusting thing ever i got to about there and i just couldn't couldn't use it anymore i put it on last thing at night and it was a horrible texture, it smelled horrible, it tasted horrible, it didn't do anything to me lips, so I would never buy that again, save you 20 quid. Many Nivea balms or Vaseline, could you, not Vaseline, the Naturalina ones, anything but not that, waste your money. Now this is uh, some brand that has started up in, uh, in the chem, I've seen it recently in the chemists in Ireland, and I picked it up because it came with a day and a night cream. And this is Zija, Z-I-A-J-A, -A, and it has our goat's milk in it, and it's hand and nail cream. And it was apps, it was 80 ml, so it was quite a large tube. And it was absolutely divine. It was beautiful. Loved it. It absorbed in, it felt really rich on my hands. I would buy that again. Then we have a Murad. And this is a Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. And this is 10 mils, but it lasted me absolutely ages. I love Murat. And I would buy that again. I really would. I think I got two months out of that. Because I'd only put serums on at night time. So, yeah, loved it. And then we have just a little bath crumble I got from Superdrug in the sale last month. These were like 49p. And it was. It was lovely. Uh, I think it was like um, just bath crumble, but it kind of smelled like apple or something, and it was lovely. By a brand called Kid Acne. So for 49p, you couldn't go wrong. Now, I felt, got this in a box or something, and I was using it up. It's a Wish Shave Cream, and it was absolutely terrible. I cut my leg three times using this, two on one and one on the other. Uh, it was just terrible. I wouldn't buy it again. I'll stick to me when I get our littles. I think it's like nine, two euros or something or a euro on brilliant. Terrible. And then we have now 
I had this a long time and I finally used it up and look enough Cupman's got always in a uh, super drug and I happened to see this on sale and they were like 20p so I bought a couple of them but I haven't seen them since so I assume that they're being discontinued and this is a BB eye cream it's a five in one and it's by super drug itself it's not the B brand or anything it's by super drug that's what it just says and it has a little brush on the end so it's for concealing under your eyes and it really i don't really have that say because i'm starting to get fine lines and i just like to put it on under foundation uh, for extra coverage and i loved it so i'm a bit sad that they have uh, discontinued it now this oh this was terrible uh dove uh Micella water shower gel. It was on sale or something in Tesco. So I can see why. It just smelled strange. Um, it didn't really foam up or anything. It is cruelty free, and it's made real soap or dyes, and it's ultra mild and gentle. But if you could get over the scent of it, I suppose look, you can wash yourself in it. I suppose that's the main thing. Now I have this a while and I've finally got around to finishing it. Derma, Derma Deli Rejuvenating Toner, Freshen Skins and Tighten Pores. Now this is lovely. It was really refreshing. Um, I'm definitely going to reuse it because you can open up. And it was like a, a quite fine uh, spray on it, which is really nice because a lot of them just hit you straight in the face. And then... Finished one of these, and you know what? It smelled like apple crumble, and it was absolutely beautiful. And I'm just so sorry that, uh, I, in fact, I've got January's right, but I can't find it. I put it away somewhere when it was delivered. Um, but I had to cancel because it was like five euro delivery. Now it was five quid for the box and five, so it worked out eleven quid for me for two shower gels, which is just too expensive and i think even in the uk it's like four quid postage i might be wrong so for an extra two quid i can get it delivered to my house instead of going to newry but it's not the point this one smelled like i was lying sitting in the bath and it made me hungry <laughs> apple crumbler smelled like it was beautiful now i have another one to use up but a funny thing is i'm not a fan of their bath bombs or their crumble bath fizz or anything but this now but somebody was asking me for a review it foamed up beautifully it left my skin feeling really soft and refreshed and clean i felt squeaky clean basically after using it you don't need much to get a lot of foam i love a load of foam i love loads right so i i got like three three baths out of this it was absolutely lovely i just uh sad i couldn't get them anymore just not you know it's like too expensive so anyway i think i did quite well so um i'm not going to pour everything back out and count them i will count them and put the number of the products i've used in the description bar now i just wanted to give you a couple of hints always keep your eye out because i tell you to show i will hand on my heart and say i never pay full price for anything and you know what if you look at a collection box and you like it like it, let's for example no point is makeup in it but if you see a collection box from ladies and beauty or something like that and you see there's a lot of skincare in it that you like and it's quite expensive don't buy one if you can afford buy two because you will save your money in the long run like i will tell you at the moment i'm using an elemis uh, day cream that's worth about 70 quid i got it in a box in a collection box somewhere at night time, I'm using the Elemis Pro Collagen Matrix Overnight Cream. That's about eight to 30 ml. So I say that's about eight, 70 to 80 quid. I know the other one's worth about 50. I, I get Avant uh, primers and skincare. Now, of course, I wouldn't pay 90 quid for them, but you will get good skincare in collection boxes. And look, if you like to look at a subscription box for one month, subscribe for the one month and then cancel. Or what you do is, I know Glossy Box kind of always sells out, so don't worry about them the crap customer service. But for like to look fantastic, if you like to look at that around what I normally do now is I've learnt my lesson. 
but I'm tied to look fantastic. But what I'm going to do in future is keep my eye out and see the spoilers. There's a, a website that you can sign up to that sends you emails. It's which subscription box uk. I will get the link and put it down below. And lovely lady does that. And she always uh, either has the spoilers or reviews for the boxes. So you, you'll find out what's in the box, right? If, when it comes out and so they wait in a couple of weeks right sign up to ES, uh, and if you don't want to load spam or anything but sign up uh, to decent companies like morphe uh beauty bay cult uh beauty beauty cult a cult beauty sorry right that you get the emails with special offers tart and two-faced and they will for example and what you do is right you go shopping on the website, you put stuff in the basket, you leave it, you don't buy it. Wait a day or two and they will send you an email with 15 to 20% code for that, for you to buy that stuff. Right? Keep your eye out for sales. Check. Because I tell you the truth. And keep your eye out. Like this, I, got, I have told people I knew when the boots 70% uh, sale was coming up on. And I had it on my Facebook page, Katrina's Beauty. Now, I do post a lot of discount codes and offers and stuff on that. Um, I'm not an anyway beauty guru or anything, but I, I like looking for bargains. And if I can find something, I will post it. So if you want to just like my Facebook page, um, Katrina's Beauty, I will. Uh, you will see them. So anyway, I'm going off tangent. So recently... Um, the next box is on that. Um, you know what I mean? There's good stuff if you can get it. You know what I mean? So sign up for the emails and stuff. The nip and fab. That's what you do. Every couple of months or every now and again, nip and fab will do a £5 sale. And that includes makeup and skincare. And I'm not saying it, but they, some of their makeup is quite expensive, like 25 quid for an eyeshadow palette. That face creams are expensive. But sometimes, depending on what's on, even like um, I got a bronzer mist before that was like £25 down to 5 So have a look on it and they do a different selection and keep your eye out. Type in sets because I know, I can't remember the lady's name, but I watched her video one day. And actually on a Nip and Fab, the foundation, they had a whole set, like five foundations, I think they were 12 quid or 14 quid. So if you're in an MUA and trying to build up your kit, you know what I mean? It saves you a lot of money that way. So keep your eye out for Nip and Fab. At the moment, Beauty Bay are doing a 23% to think off Jeffree Star. Uh, so just sign up for the different I'm not asking to sign up for millions of emails right but sign up for a few companies and they will you know Tart do this one twice a year um, you can pick six items like make your own customised kit sorry if this cold customised kit from Tart and you get six items for 56 quid and you do that twice a year so the last time I got um, a highlighter and bronzer palette and blusher, I got the foundation, I got a uh, fix and, you know, set and spray, I got a lipstick, I got something else. So I got a good deal for that and I think I walked it like 120 quid or something and I got it for 56. Because our, their foundations are quite expensive. I know I'm making this video super long. But if anybody wants me to do a video about uh, savings and um, discounts and stuff like that and how to save money, because yeah, buying beauty and skincare can be a very expensive business. But I will tell you, hand in my heart, I have never paid full price for anything. Like January says, hair price, all that Too Faced stuff. Do you know what I mean? So just keep your eye out and. There's not only me, there's other, other lovely YouTubers have Facebook pages, excuse me, as well. You know, you can follow them um, and they post up offers and stuff as well. But um, listen, thanks very much for watching and taking the time to listen to me waffle on. And if I can help anybody save a bit of money, I will. Uh, if you, I would genuinely appreciate it if you could follow me on Facebook, if you have Facebook. It's my channel's name, Katrina's Beauty. 
And I do post uh, a couple of times a day with offers and stuff like that. And maybe special boxes I've heard about coming out. Uh, I've posted recently uh, the Valentine's one from Look Fantastic. It's worth over 250 quid. You get it for 50. It's 55. And if you have a subscriber code, you get it for 50. So listen, I'm going to stop talking now because I will keep going on and on and on and on. And I don't want to bore you all and frighten you all off my channel. So listen, thanks very much for watching and take care.